in the mid 70s, I uh, took a faculty friend with me to a trip to the Gestalt Institute in Cleveland. And on the way back, <clears throat> I realized how much I was enjoying the friendship with him. And I knew he was straight and it wasn't a sexualized thing. And so we're about halfway back from Cleveland to Marietta out in the countryside. And we notice a hillside that's uh, filled with wildflowers. And we both get out and uh, are picking some wildflowers and then tired. I guess we didn't get enough sleep <laughs> during the conference. And we laid down on the banks and the sun is shining on us. I was feeling so good and so whole and I could tell that art was as well. And so that's when I decided to share with him that I'm realizing I'm bisexual. He responded, accepting this, I knew he would. Eventually, I decided to apply for a job in, uh, that, that I had once been offered in the Chicago area. And it turned out there was an opening, and so we ended up leaving Marietta, Ohio, and moving to University Park in Illinois. A couple of years after we moved to Chicago area, my father died. I felt urgency to begin telling my family. I told all my siblings, and I wanted to tell mom. I can still picture it. We were in her kitchen. She was still living in the house I grew up in, in this little mining town. Uh, and she started to cry. And I said, uh, why are you crying? And she said, because I love Sandy. And I don't want to lose my daughter-in-law. <laughs> and I thought that was beautiful. And I assured her that I wasn't going to leave Sandy. And then, and that Sandy and I had dealt with it enough years that I was pretty sure Sandy wasn't going to leave me. Once I was out to all the family, we also had made the move to Chicago. And uh, I knew that it was, a, first of all, I was closer to gay life. Uh, and But secondly, that the campus I was on was a much more liberal one than I the one in Ohio. The head of my department uh, I talked to first and he said uh, that he had no problem at all with him and I was quite sure that would be the case but he didn't think I should be public on the campus because he there were two administrators that he mistrusted on this issue. So I held off till I had tenure, and I got early tenure because I'd already been tenured at Marietta College. And But once I got tenure, then I decided to come out. And I became an advocate on campus, and I helped the students form a LBGT club, and was their advisor for a couple years. So to me, it's just the, the network of support you need if you're doing anything that isn't already acceptable. I've always consciously made sure I have support groups around me. They may not be a group that meets regularly, but a group of people around me who, uh, who accept me and give me the freedom to be as different as I want to be.